Good morning, good morning, Warriors. I'm Emmanuel Hickman. This is Mr. Keith Grandison. And we wanted to make this video be known that this month is known as Cerebral Palsy Month, the awareness of Cerebral Palsy. So I have a couple questions I want to ask you today. Um, just, to, just to share a little info with everybody, maybe that they don't know, and some things you might want to, you might want to let, let people know. So the first question I want to ask you is, what does this, this certain month mean to you? Um, being a person with cerebral palsy, it means more to me than anything that, knowing that the world still looks at the month of March as cerebral palsy awareness month, being that I'm one of 17 million people that have cerebral palsy. Um, cerebral palsy comes from brain hemorrhaging, um, bleeding on the brain. I was born three months premature. Um, my mother had me at six months, and the doctors told her I wouldn't make it through the night. So it really meant a lot to me to know that people go beyond the month of March to really go to get the insight of what cerebral palsy is. Um, even for my own life, I learn new stuff about cerebral palsy every day. And being that I have it, I don't have all the answers, don't know everything about it, and I'm still learning. Well, I will say that um, the biggest thing that I feel that is very impressive is that you do have this certain, this certain disability, cerebral palsy, and you still maintain to achieve high levels of success. If you do not know that he's in a, he's actually in a master's program at VSU right now, and he has graduated from VSU. So, my next question to you is, what keeps you motivated to achieve? these different tasks each and every day or each and every year throughout your, throughout your life so far? Like, what, what has brought you to this point? Man, man, man. Um, Manny, honestly, man, nobody but God. I, and nobody but God has really kept me through it all. There was times that I felt like giving up, and God has really elevated me, pushed me to the point that I'm in in my life. Um, there's days that, some days it's harder than others, but I still try to maintain my still because I still have a life to live. As I tell people all the time, there's somebody out there who wants something worse than me. And I have to be able to maintain, I have to be able to be still there, be that resource for other people. You know, it's the life that I live, I tell people often, it's not my life. My life I live is for other people. And I do that so that other people can see how important it is that you don't let anything hinder or get in the way of what you're trying to accomplish. Um, working on this master's degree, being a graduate of Dean State with an undergrad in criminal justice, then going back to get a master's in education, it really opened my eyes. It really got, really showed me his favor because, I mean, I could be in a corner somewhere and have a pity, but I chose not to do that because my successes and the people around me and the people that root for me and tell me to keep going, keep pushing me, has really made my life more loving and more great to be able to stand for others and so others can look at me and say that they get their strength from me um, through my trials and my tribulations. But I'm, I'm here to say that we all go through things and you can, if you fight through it and overcome it, you'll still be successful. You heard it here first, so I want to make sure that you all do some research on cerebral palsy. There's a lot of people in this world who have this certain disability but just because they have this, this this certain unique thing about them does not mean they're not human. As you heard it here, you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. Thank you so much for your time. We out.